line breakers in football. Yeah, that's a strange little term. But if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. In football, we want players to break a tier. Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best in the world at doing this. Uh, Liverpool are struggling right now because they don't have any line breakers in defence anymore. Virgil van Dijk is injured. Joe Matip's lost his form. So they can't really bring the ball out of defence and put other teams under pressure. Recently, City lost to Spurs. One of the reasons cited was they didn't have line breakers in defence. They didn't have anybody who could bring the ball out. And it's a facet of the game that I find interesting. And on today's show, we're going to take a look at a tactic that was recently submitted on the show Bring Your Tactics. And we're going to take a look at how changing that tactic ever so slightly with roles that are line breakers gave this system a second life. You'll find me live streaming Mondays through to Fridays. On Wednesdays, we do bring your tactics. You're more than welcome to showcase your tactics or ask for a different perspective. Now, let's jump into this tactic that one of you shared with me. What have we got here? Rajani or 3 4 3? Wing back, wing back, ball winning. Boo, double ball winning midfield. It's a bit bold. This is a bit. Okay, here, now, the problem with this tactic is going to be nobody to carry your ball forward. So this guy wins the ball high. This guy wins the ball high. You got nobody to bring the ball forward except for the libero. These guys can be high up the pitch. Your biggest problem is actually getting the ball out of defense. Like consistently using the flanks. So a lot of your transitions are going to be based on the opposition losing the ball. And then you are also doing play out of defense and pass into space. This is not your friend. But yeah, it's not your friend. Pass into space is not your friend at all. Yeah. I mean, we can play for a short while, but it's not your friend. Because uh, the only time this tactic will do well is like if you got lots of space. But if you're meeting a weaker team that don't, that gives you that says, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna sit back and defend all day long. You try and break us down. Then you're gonna then you're gonna struggle." Uh, so so if you were to play and then we'll play it right now. So these guys, see, they won't move. They just pass the ball like that, right? You see, this is what I mean. There are no line breakers in a tactic. When there are no line breakers, you're expecting to pass the ball perfectly all the time. You're not pushing the team back. See that? All there. All perfect passes you need. Right? There's no line breaking. So you got, you got to go up and then there's nobody in the area for you to score. So, again, you see, is it? then you, you lose the ball. Yeah. So this tactic, this is a fundamental rewrite. Yeah, you can't play it like this. This tactic, you can't play like this. This is just, um, no, there's no... So I would probably go white centre back on support, white centre back on support. I'll play this guy as a DM on, maybe DM on support will be fine. Ball winning midfielder. I need somebody to bring the ball forward. Roaming playmaker will be fine. This guy can bring the ball. In fact, uh, this guy can be a white centre back on attack. This guy can be a wing back on attack. Shadow striker, shadow striker, target for dropping deep and then you really think it's too complicated. Way too complicated. You right, be better off doing something like this. Okay, so you can do something like this. Target for a shadow striker. AP and support dropping deep. You need you need players to pull and you know create space for other players. Here you're hoping that the target forward, you, you can't even the thing is right, there's nobody bringing the ball forward. You need perfect passes in the the okay, basically you need Manchester City level players for your tactic to work all the time. Right, so it's not going to work that way. Focus play to the middle doesn't always work. Focus play to the middle just means that the guys in the center come closer to play the pass. Right, so we're going to drop this, drop this, no counter. Uh, distribute to center backs, uh, high press, prevention, trap inside, and forget the trap inside. The, the, the one instruction I'll tell everybody not to use in the game. Right, Don't bother with trap inside. Yeah. You can play with two white centre-backs. I'm trying with two white centre-backs, but you can go with two white centre-backs. You can go with one ball-playing. Maybe you can play a ball-playing defender here. You got a different dynamic. But here, we're getting both these roles to push the push my team into the transition forward. So you get a better attacking pattern. Now you don't have to depend on them to make mistakes. You can create your own goals. Right? So if you... if you Right now, you see we've got a target for holding out the ball and then the AP comes in to score the goal. Right, so it's it's definitely a different dynamic, you know, attack. So if you worry this guy, now I could also say, okay, we play this guy as a ball-playing defender. We turn this guy into a ball-playing defender on, on cover. This one is a dribble more. He, 
Now, what happens in this transition is this guy's going to push up the push the ball up. We got Romy playmaker beside him. That's not really much of a problem, but because what now is going to happen is this guy's a line breaker. So as he pushes up, the wing back can actually push high up the pitch. So now you can release the wing back as well. All right, let's see whether that happens. But first, we have to win the ball, right? Ah, there we go. Much better, right? You don't have to depend on the AI, you know, no? to screw up all the time. <laughs> now, because we got cover, ah, he's perfectly positioned. There we go. This is what we want to see. That is caused by the ball playing defenders breaking the line. This is the problem a lot of people, when they, a lot of people make white three back three systems and they cannot make back three systems work. It's because the first rule of a back three system, okay, is you need a line breaker. Okay. You need one of the defenders to break a line, meaning he goes from this position, which is the defender's tier, to the DM tier. So he brings the ball forward. When he brings the ball forward, he carries the formation with him. Right, so he brings the formation. So this is, allows other players to get further up the pitch. As he brings the ball forward, now we are in a different transition state. Now we are in an attacking transition state where we can attack the lines already. So this is the reason why it's important to recognize this. Only thing is SI hasn't really perfected this very well. I mean, I would like to see that when the ball playing defender pushes up, right, the wing back pushes up higher. So now we got two different kinds of transitions, right? So we got one featuring one kind of player, one one role, and the other one is the white center back. Okay. So let's try something different. Okay, so you attack. So this works. I don't I don't think there's a need to change anything. Wing back on attack. There, cover. Much nicer. See, white center back bring the ball forward. Pushing there's always gonna be options for him to pass the ball to. This guy is a ball playing defender. Inside the area, bank penalty. So now your transitions are much better. Yeah. Ball playing defenders it give you options uh, basically. Yeah, that's 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 basically it. Daniel Malina for more. I don't know who I'm subbing, man. I'm just randomly picking players now. We made a quite a few changes to your tactic. I hope I remember all the changes. Line breakers basically are roles in the game of football who break tiers. They can be Players that start from defense breaking into midfield, like ball playing defenders and wide center backs. They could be central midfielders that do it from defensive midfield positions into attacking midfield positions like Segundo Volantes. You also got box to box midfielders that do the same thing. Mazalas that also can break tiers. Plenty of them. So the next time you're looking at your tactic and you're wondering, why is it so static? Why am I not getting this kind of vertical movement? Think about how you can use a line breaking role that allows you to transition higher up the pitch. It's just one facet of play. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Meanwhile, you guys stay safe. Look after each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.